Hi everybody, welcome to the Baggate Investor for a new Uranium video. I know a lot of you are following the Uranium market. So as I'm seeing interesting stuff happening, I am sharing it with you. And this is the purpose of this channel is to share my views, my analysis and share also what I do on the markets. We're going to see what Uranium is doing. Quickly reminder, no, not wrong way. Um, one month ago, uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Around there, I can't see it. Dang it, I don't see the video. Help me find it. Right there, it's here. Uh, I got out of uranium stocks. I was holding one uranium stock, hoping it would start a beautiful uptrend. And unfortunately, uh, the markets did not tell me right. So I decided to de-risk my portfolio and get out. It was a uh, Laramide Resources. The code is LAM on the Toronto Stock Exchange. You could see that I sold uh, around there on the breakdown right there. But what I wanted to talk about is the uranium uh, price of the commodity itself making some moves. Uh, we were in a consolidation pattern right there. So this is the uh, uranium futures listed on the COMEX, which is New York Commodity Exchange. Uh, after that, we're just going to see that in a few seconds that we're going to go for something else that is much better to see. So this is the future price and we're going to take a look at the spot ETF, which is a much better chart and much... Uh, it's, it, it looks more like a, 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 the kind of chart that we're used to study. So this is the uranium chart. You can see that nothing happened from 2007 to 2021 and now we're only starting to to maybe have something happening and we had a beautiful tightening period tightening volatility that happened right there and that formed a beautiful consolidation triangle uh, my stock had broken down the one that I had but uranium had not broken down and I, I said that well it needs to we need to wait to see the the the, 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 which way the consolidation is going to get, bring the price to and right now the price looks like it's going up and it's going up with quite a substantial volume so in terms of technical analysis we have a bullish trend we have a consolidation with tightening volatility and we have what we call a breakout into the direction of the underlying trend and this breakout happened last week so the candle is closed and the volume is also closed so this breakout happened the question is going to be what is going to happen this week and in the following weeks well there is a high probability considering the geopolitical tensions on uranium people fear uh, scarcity because of Ukraine because of Russia because of Kazakhstan uh, you could look at the KAP I believe yeah it's the uh, comp the state company for Kazakhstan that exports uranium uh, France is a very big client for Kazakhstan we get some of our uranium right there but anyway the price of uranium is breaking out of this phase and that would mean that uranium miners uh, might anticipate a rising price in the next few days and months what happens when the commodity prices rise like would it whether it be copper gold tin oil the mining companies make more money as the price go higher and higher that's what's happening with oil stocks with the price of oil going up the, the, the value of mining of uh, oil extraction companies went up because this is how uh, markets value companies and I wanted to I could not uh, I, I, I am, I'm forced to talk about it because people interested in uranium uh, might be missing this I'm, I'm really giving you the view of on this uh, it's a really good setup we have everything needed to make a new bullish trend emerge on uranium and thus try to ride the wave just like it happened back in 2000 2008 where we had a beautiful uh, uptrend now the question is uh, would you make more money by just holding uranium spot or by buying uh, uranium mines that you need to check how the mines and the companies related to uranium are doing so you have URNM which is uranium mining and you have URA which is uranium global companies and you can see that uranium mining is less bullish I'm gonna hide it I'm gonna print 
there and there. Just give me a second. There you go. I'm gonna put that into US dollar to compare the currencies. There you go. You have the two values compared with the, with the to the since the COVID crash. This green line is the uranium stocks and this orange line is the uranium commodity. You can see that right now the uranium commodity has corrected slightly less than the uh, uranium spot price and that the uranium spot price is going a little stronger than the uranium stocks. So people are like, well, they're just buying uranium spot but not much of uranium companies and that you can see I'm gonna remove this there you go you could see that for uh, big uranium companies like for example you had uh, LEU which is Centros Energy which is a uranium mine that went completely crazy and now the bubble has exploded you had Uroy which has done the exact same thing which has gone crazy and the bubble has popped I was looking at uh, energy fuels same thing you could see this comp these uh, charts for stocks don't look as bullish as the commodity itself look at this bannerman energy listed in uh, australia this looks no nothing like bullish and you could see that some for example this company uh consolidated uranium in terms of technical analysis has corrected less and looks more ready to go but most companies don't look as bullish as the price of the commodity itself however what we're starting to see is this kind of double bottom pattern like this, stocks usually bottom in, in a pattern like this but this is not how i trade i trade uh, consolidation and continuation patterns so i would rather trade this pattern this pattern i know how to trade it's a breakout in the continuation to the underlying trend this pattern to me on the uranium on Eura, this is not what i trade so I, what i'm waiting for very simple gonna check this one so it's better to see uh, what I'm gonna try to draw here what I would like is like something like this with shrinking volatility or I don't know some place where the volatility shrinks on the upside and gives me a possibility to enter but right now uh, as an investor I would totally buy to try to catch bottoms like this because you know if you try to catch bottoms uh, in, a, in an uptrend, buying the bottom is usually a very good idea. The only problem is that people start buying the bottom in a downtrend. So like if we start to enter in a downtrend and people keep buying the bottom and average down on the, on the thing, this usually leads to accounts being destroyed. But as long as we remain in an uptrend with the moving averages telling you, well, are we in an uptrend or not? Uh, th this is, this, I can't deny that it's a good strategy and some people really like this strategy. It just not, it does not suit my psychology. However, what I'm, looking at simply i'm gonna look at the uranium stocks that look the best and i'm gonna maybe try to take a trade or two on these on these companies for example i really like this consolidated uranium company and i'm gonna check if it breaks above this level and if it breaks above this level this would be uh a, a, it could be a good investment so i'm gonna get this into my trading list right there you can see and i'm gonna check it and see what it does in the in the in the near future that's gonna be an interesting watch so there you go uh do not miss on this uranium breakout uh maybe something's happening this is this might be an impulsion and yeah check it out you might be interested